This is the of my Crystal Advent unboxing. I have seven Crystal Advent calendars to open. For the first 12 days I'll be opening five a day and for the last 12 days I'll have another two to add in. For your chance to win your favourite crystal of the day, be subscribed, hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button and let me know in the comments what your favourite crystal was. If you have any interest in any of these sellers, I'll link all the shops in the description box below. For an extra chance to win your crystal, head over to TikTok where I also have other pinned giveaways and you can also vote for your favourite crystal there for another chance to win. Enjoy. I'm going to show you all the boxes that I've got just now and they're still going to be delivered and it's the most expensive one so it better hurry up. In case you find any of these calendars particularly interesting, I'll link the stores in the description box below. Calendar number one is from Canny Crystals and this is the fanciest one that I've got so far. As I mentioned, one of them's still missing and it's the most expensive one. I'm not going to tell you the price of any of these boxes because obviously part of the competition is for you to guess how much I paid for them so that you can win a prize. So here is the inside of this box. I probably should move this camera back a little bit. Two seconds. Yes, much better. There we go. This is the inside. Really fancy, really nice. So when I seen the spoiler for this, they had like a trailer video. They opened up box number one and box number one is really quite big. And I think that's the one that they opened um, on the trailer video. So it's a really big box. It feels really empty actually. So inside we have some black paper and oh my nail polish has just popped off. Normally I paint my nails and stuff to do videos but genuinely I'm filming the first 12 days all in one day and I really I didn't have the time. I really just didn't have the time so I do apologise. So they've put a little wooden circle in here to tell you what it is and it is an amethyst mini point. Now, this is nice right, um, it's got the little wooden bit, I like that little touch. I think that to have that tiny little point in this big massive box was misleading. Now it's possible that these boxes are like, you know how like they're pre-made and then they just buy them, like maybe they've just bought them because it doesn't have canny crystals on it or anything, you know what I mean? So they've maybe bought these in bulk. I think that that box is one of the bigger boxes, right, other than 13 and 24. Now, if that tiny little crystal is in box number one, this this literally could have a crystal like that size in it. Nice crystal. I just don't like the fact that it didn't it didn't live up to the expectation of the size of the box, you know. Anyway, that might end up being my favourite one, so we just don't know. Next up, we have treasure. You'll have seen me unboxing so many of her crystal mystery boxes on this channel. She's actually got her own playlist. Now she sent me lots of fancy boxes in my crystal mystery boxes before and the reason she sent it in this is because one of the boxes got bashed and she just wanted it to be really really safe. And that's totally fine. So this is the little bags inside and she's actually sent the rope in the pegs so that you can hang these up. My original plan was to open these every single day before work, edit the videos and all that and post them. Once it dawned on me that I was going to have to get up like an hour or two early for work, I thought this is this is not going to pan out. So that's why I'm opening the first 12 days today and then after that I'll find time to open the rest of them. But anyway, it comes in this box but you do hang them up and she's sent all the stuff so 
Visualise it, visualise it. I'll put a picture up here. That's supposed to look like just in case you're not very good at visualising. And let me just go through this in find box number one, eh, bag number one. As luck would have it, she's put them in the box in order so my brain doesn't have to do much thinking at all. Treasure is one of my favourite crystal sellers, actually. Three of my top favourite crystal sellers, I've got advent calendars, so I'm really excited to see whose is the best. So this is the first bag. It's got little Santas on it. No, it's, not, it's little trees. And inside... Oh, what do we have inside? We've got wee crystals. They look like jelly beans. They look like beans. Magic beanstalk beans. How adorable. And also... Oh my god. A rose quartz turtle. A wee rose quartz turtle. And some wee magic beans. How cute. Let's see what's next. Next we've got Rianne Kirby. And this box, I actually had a bow like right across the top. But when I was cutting off the outer packaging, I accidentally cut it off. So I did my best to try and attach that little thing back on the front. I also got this, which is stickers and a card. I hope the card doesn't tell me what's inside the box. But it says, she always sends these little, nice little pictures. And then I've got a Christmas card. And lovely, just a lovely little message. If you watch my other videos, you will know I love a sticker. So we've got a little snowman and a jar. That is so cute. We've got reindeers in the forest. Another little snow globe sticker. A wee Christmas jumper and a wee, a wee one with jumpers and mitts and stuff on it. So that's cute. That's an added little extra. And I'm excited to see what's in this because she always goes all out when she's wrapping any crystal mystery boxes. Just before I rip this open, I just want to show you again that this has got a massive dragonfly charm on the front of it. Now, to some people, they would think, what am I going to use that on? Will I use that as a bag charm? No, that's perfect for me. I'll put an extra little jump ring on it and I'll wear this as a pendant. That is the perfect size for me, for a pendant. That's the sort of size, that's the sort of size I like in my jewellery. So I'm just going to open this up and I'll be back in a second. Inside the wrapping paper, she's put it in a kicker's box. And do you know what? I like a bit of recycling. The box doesn't need to be fancy, see, as long as it holds your stuff together. That's fine. And inside, there's this fabric, which I don't know if it's a scarf. I think it might be a scarf and then inside we've got all these little packages look at that and then there's like a big massive one at the side I don't know if that one's for Christmas day but there we go she always goes the extra mile when she's wrapping So here we have box number one and this has got a little dragonfly and a little diamond charm on it. I think all of these have got charms so that is a nice little added touch. Inside the box it's wrapped again. I th see the amount of time that she spends putting these things together. Honestly, it must take her ages. When I'm selling my own crystal mystery boxes, I wrap things individually and she puts in way more effort than I do. And when I'm doing it, it takes forever. So in number one, we have got some pyrite. She's given me a little card and she's wrote on the back, 
Pyrite has recently been found to contain real gold. This is a really beautiful piece of pyrite. I've got a couple of pieces of pyrite but I'm learning how to wire wrap and I think that would look really good wire wrapped. It's mostly smooth and then it's got like the little cave bit in there. So that is stunning. While I was opening the rest of my calendar last night, I remembered that she puts two packages in each box. So I've took me opening that in video two and brought it into video one. So sorry for the mistake. So the extra package in number one was this stunning blue gold stone. Next we have Air Sister Magic who's also given me these little bags and she's included the rope and the pegs as well to hang it up. So Treasure, Rianne Kirby and Air Sister Magic are my three top sellers. So this is another one that I'm really excited to see what's in it. This is what the bag looks like and it's got a little wooden charm on it with a number. I really feel like these three sellers that I've just mentioned, the just the value for money that you get is insane. Like Rianne Kirby, she really puts effort into her ram. All of these sellers, by the way, have already got unboxings on this channel if you want to check them out. But even though the other two sellers don't put as much effort into the ram, what you get for your money is so good. It's really so good. So this is number one. And normally with Air Sister Magic, she gives you your crystal and then she writes a little description. But on this, she's given me a card. And this has got a little bit of thing on the top so it doesn't get damaged. And it's a lovely Labradorite point. And it tells you in here it's for transformation, protection and positivity. So that's another little extra and so far this has been the biggest crystal that I've got but it's not all about size. The last one I have to open today is Crystals by Megan and she has sent me all the crystals like just wrapped up like this with a little number stuck on it. This is crystal number one and I'm going to see if I can guess what this is. Oh! <sighs> Probably broke it now. Right, so this appears to be an amethyst tumble stone because she hasn't put a individual cards or anything in. There's a little list at the bottom, right? But if I read it, it's going to waste what I'm getting for the rest of the month. So if I can guess it, then I will. And this one is obviously amethyst. And since this is video number one, I might as well just show you what this other advent calendar looks like. This is one of my 12 days of Christmas and of course my other one hasn't arrived yet. So fingers crossed it comes. Not only because the post has been absolutely diabolical lately, but also that was my most expensive calendar, so I really need it to come. Otherwise, I'm going to take some sort of panic attack. Let me know in the comments what your favourite crystal was for today. Mine's was... the Rose Quartz Turtle. Yeah, it was the, it was the Rose Quartz Turtle by Treasure. Let me know in the comments what your favourite was for a chance to win it in January. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to come back each day to vote for your favourite crystal for a chance to win. Bye!